everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new, my name is Rachel Ost and this video is part of a series called the Minimalism Series. If you haven't seen it before, I have a whole bunch of videos covering different topics to do with minimalism, so I will link that playlist in the description box for you guys. I decided to make this video on the very basics of how to start decluttering because I did notice when I put up a Q&A post on Instagram, a lot of people were asking how to actually get started, where to begin, all of that kind of thing, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make a whole video about it and I'll chuck it in as part of the series. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it so much if you would give it a little thumbs up for me. If you're new, hit subscribe and let's jump straight into it. If you're really lost with where to start, perhaps start by writing a checklist. Now this checklist can just be rooms or areas of your house that you'd like to declutter, or maybe it's your goals and intentions that you have in mind for the decluttering process. If you're finding this step difficult, I do have a 30 and a 60 day challenge and I'll link those videos in the description box. Communicate. It's really important if you are living with someone and sharing the space with them that you communicate what steps you're going to take and why you want to do this. I'm lucky that I only really have to check what I'm doing with Ducky now, but it is important that you speak to the people who you live with. Set a time limit each day for your decluttering. I'd suggest between 15 and 20 minutes, any longer, and it can start to feel tedious or you might overdo it. Work in small areas. This is coming back to the checklist step again, where if you've written the checklist, you'll have little areas to work off. Same with my 30 day and 60 day challenge. They'll give you little areas at a time to start with. Working in small areas will mean that you can examine each space properly and you can see what you do and don't need rather than just throwing out too much. Make a pile. When you are decluttering, so you can see this is my little cupboard full of props and things for videos. So at the moment I'm pulling out all my backdrops and then I'm going to pull out some of the extra things that I use for videos like paints and stuff. Put it all in a pile and that's where you're going to start sorting it from. So take everything out and start with it on the ground and then start moving back what you want. Digital declutter. Don't forget to declutter your digital spaces as well. I think this is something that a lot of people overlook, but it will help you feel a little bit more relaxed as well once you get your computer and your phone clean and organized. Need, love or remove it. Give yourself a very simple process to go by. Do you actually need this item or do you love the item? And if not, do you actually need to own it at all? So for me going through my craft kind of equipment cupboard, I'm thinking, can I still use this item? Do I need it for any future videos? What am I going to do with it? Do I keep it? Keep things out of sight if you're not sure if you want to get rid of them or not. One area that I always do this in is clothing because I'm not sure if I'm going to want to stick with something or I'm not sure if I want to wear it anymore or if it suits, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So I'll put them in a space saver bag and just put that in my cupboard. If I don't touch the bag for six months, then it's gone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video i will be doing more minimalism series videos so hit subscribe if you're new or maybe turn the alerts on if you've been subscribed for a while so that way you can see my videos when they do go live but i hope you're all doing really well and i'll catch you guys next time